and she can be three or four in the world and never win a title on yeah. the, any stage. Correct. I mean, Calderano has only won... One love. I mean, he won his first title in 2021, but he was world number five, five. or six for Correct. a while before Correct. that. So you can just show how dominant China, China is. is. Yep. Let yeah, he's been overtaken, hasn't he, by Lin Gao Yun and uh, this man here, Liang Jinkun. Yeah, and Felix Lebrun now. We're seen as the, the biggest threat, I'd say, alongside Lin Win Ru and maybe Dima Ofcharov. Wang Hao will have his eye on them, of course. Nice play from Liang Jinkun. I mean, he was just feeding off Campos. Right on the white of the line, perfect placement. Great read from Big Fatty. That's his uh, nickname, just to be One, clear. <laughs> yeah, you can get me in trouble with that like, clarification. <laughs> Dapa, his nickname. We've got Xiaopan, Fan Jindong, and also Xia Xiaopan, Lin Shidong, little, little fatty. <laughs> Some of the big shots we were talking about of Campos. Quite a dynamic attacking player. Look at that one there, Liang couldn't even deal with it. Well, Jorge Campos Two. has Four. achieved something that uh, Liang Jinkun might never do, and that is he's been to the Olympics in uh, 2016 and also in 2020. Three, four. Played so, for Panathinaikos as well in Greece, club level. Four, or. Ooh, how good was that? He's only a point behind. He's a point in front now. He's got in front, in fact. Just <laughs> keeping you on your toes. <laughs> like Campos is doing to Liang Jing Kun. Five, four. Look at this Six. here. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, this is... Uh... I mean, that's how good Liang is. You get 6-5 up on him and... and we're already going... 6-5. Let... First pendulum, little kick on it. Good forehand. Five, seven. Wow. Two-point cushion. It's interesting because we've already seen the China men's team and the China women's team lose games and, in fact, a couple of matches as well. So it is not unheard of. Six, seven. Nice angles from the backhands of Liang Jinkun. First one with nice dwell, and then he builds upon that with more aggression. Shot. Oh, very nice. Net. Shot from Liang. Snake, or tries to. Eight, now, seven. you were saying that this is perhaps what Adrian might want to do before Adrian Pereira, Andy Pereira, excuse me. Might want to be looking at against uh, Wang Chuchin. Well, if you know you can't out rally, then what else can you do, right? right. You might have to do something that almost seems counterintuitive. Try and blur the lines of normality a little bit. Do whatever it takes. Yeah. Ooh, Nine, wasn't that eight. far off that? Ooh, that would no, have been. No, not a bad idea. Fan Jindong esque. Doesn't want to leave a stone unturned, especially not against the Chinese. 
He's got a serious chance here, Campos, with the serves at 9 all. <laughs> I don't think many people would have thought this would happen. Even this close. Will he go for the reverse? He will. Half long. And what a backhand! Oh, that was superb from Campos. And he's staring at a game point here. Sublime. <laughs> really nicely played. <laughs> that wasn't all that far away. They're not showing too much emotion. Oh, well, looking to crash the Cuban party here. Ash can't pass out like a Cuban cigar. Game point now to Liang Jinquin. So he wraps it up, Liang Jinquin, but it wasn't all easy, was it? It wasn't all one-way traffic, and Campos made it tough. Some real positive moments for Campos in that last game. One. That was he's amazing. Kind of, sorry, he's kind of mixed it up a bit, hasn't he, Campos? Yeah, yeah. A, a, a little bit different from Andy Pereira, who was sort of playing... He was a bit more one-dimensional, but uh, Campos is kind of... Go back and forth a bit for you? Well, stylistically, I'd say this match suits Campos more than what um, I did for Pereira against Wang, you know. Three, long. But, uh, yeah. I think Campos serves very well. Nice reverses. It gives him a bit more time on his third ball, and he's very powerful. He's shown it again there. One, three. He glides that away. One, three. You can see that he's a dangerous over-the-table presence. So, OK, now bearing that in mind, what you've seen of him so far, what does he need to do to sort of put the pressure on Liang Jinkun? Exactly that. Just keep going with that. Yeah, keep, try and keep it tight. If you go along, make it surprising. He's playing a very strong game here, a game that other players in the Chinese Super League would have been proud with. Right. That's how good he's played. Okay. It's a first-time meeting as well, so be a little bit more sympathetic for Liang Jinquin. That's a fair point. Four, three. But <laughs> we've got got some... to, he's not used to playing Cubans, is he? No, that's true. Um, and uh, this crowd is uh, quite overtly Chinese supporting in, uh, at the moment. There's kind of a, a gasp every time <laughs> Campos wins a point. Yeah, there is. Four, three. There's 360 places between them in the rankings. Ooh, that was stunning again, from you heard it again. Brilliant. Campos. I mean... You see, the way he just hooked that off that angle after a really nice touch, that might be the shot of the day right That's there, Shazad. really good. <laughs> How about that? I think he's just beaten it with the next one. <laughs> no, no, no. The one before it was better. The one before it was better, but that as well. Oh. oh. <laughs> This is brilliant. If he, if he, if he's only letting himself down with the killer shot here. The final <laughs> shot, two unforced errors so far of the last four points. But he's keeping pace with Liang Jinkun here. <laughs> no much so far. Six, five. Is this being taken notice of by Chinese management looking at this now, thinking to Liang, you need to be doing better than this? <laughs> of course. Oh, 
Oh, some brilliant returns. Six and he lobs him down. What a point that is. <laughs> You're needing the Jaios to come out now for Liang Jinkun because Campos is holding his own. Tried a little bluff back on there, Campos. If, oh, it's a let. Yeah, I thought it was a bit. To be fair, I mean, having played uh, in Panathinaikos, he's at least getting that a higher standard. Yeah, and you he's can see European it in his players. game, right? Yeah. Oh. He's enjoying oh. himself out here. He is. Six, seven. Definitely more than Liang. Yeah, I'd say so. You're right. Well, the pressure's not on him. He can play freely. Not too freely, though. No. <laughs> he doesn't want to give Liang too much of an easy time. Eight, six. I've just got to um, remind you, yesterday, the great Ma Long lost a game against Martin Allegro. So, of course, it happens. Yeah. That's Belgium, right? They're, they're a yeah, they're, pretty yeah. established team. Yeah, yeah, fair point. Eight, but I know what you mean. Um, yeah, no one is fully safe. That's what these uh, world champs have proven so far. Eight, seven. It's kind of an uneasy murmuring in the crowd at the moment. It's only a point in it. Eight. We're at eight all here. I can't tell whether he wants to laugh or cry, Liang. Do you know what? <laughs> After this event, and I'm sure China will win it, they'll be having a few beers talking about this and having a laugh, the Chinese. Shot. Oh! They're the favourites to win it, but I'll tell you what. If Campos was born in China, I would have been interested in seeing how good he was. How good he'd be. All that far away. <laughs> Again, now we, we say he's 360th in the world. He has been higher at 143. His backhands. Wow. Now he'll be on the receive, but he's managed for the second game out of two. Yeah. Get to 9 all. That's impressive. Don't forget he had a game point in the first as well. He did. So... <laughs> <laughs> this, this this man has been uh, very impressive. Ooh. Decent little serve there from Liang, half long with no spin. Campos sniffs it, but just misses. Ten, oh. Wow, again, he is taking Liang Jinkun all the way. This has got to be stressful for Liang. But that was a cool receive there. Really soft hands from Liang. Fans himself down here. Can he take this one? He's got game points. Liang Jinkun. Okay. Uh, the net Thank denies. Jorge Campos, Liang Jinkun has taken the second, but again, it's a tight margin here. A margin of two, so he's only won four more points than Campos. Yeah, it really is that tight. This is a very creditable performance from the Cuban, but it's Liang Jinkun who's taken the second game, 12-10 again. And he's two up here against Jorge Campos.
I mean, we, we, we're talking a lot about uh, on Leung Jin Kun and the, and the pressure being put on him. Are we not... Do we want to give a bit of credit as well, of course, to Jorge Campos yeah, and how well he's playing? Oh, no, no. absolutely flipping lootly He's having a brilliant match, you know? How, he's given Leung Jin Kun so much food for thought. One and block. two juice games, two 12-10 yeah, games yeah, against, against the, the someone who's got three singles world championship medals. Yeah. Insane to think he's from Cuba and he's managed to do that. Inspiring as hell, you know? And Dark however, two. yeah. What we're learning from it, from the Chinese perspective, is he's gotta be more dynamic, the Yang Jin Quinn. He's a bit root one, isn't he? So it's, is it almost predictable, One, in a way? Two. No. Not that it would be this close, but that he's got a few issues, yes. Right. That's why you might not see him used in the quarters onwards, depending on who China plays. Right. That's and, the and harsh reality three, of no. being Lin Gao Yuan or Liang Jin Quinn. They're not as dynamic as Ma Fan and Wang. And, and those would be the three that you'd expect from the knockouts onwards to be, to be used. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you might have gotten a few of these kind of rallies between, say, a Marlong and Campos, but I doubt you'd see juice games. Yeah. Time off. Now, this is about as big a lead as uh, Liang has enjoyed so far, and uh, that's probably why we've got this time out here from Cuba. Well, if uh, Liang finishes off this third game, we will then move across to the third match. And it's this man here, Adrian Perez. Guess what? He takes on the greatest of all time, Ma Long. That will be one to remember for sure. Jorge Campos has played without fear, has played well, but he's three behind here. He's actually not allowed Leung Jinko to actually run away with any of the previous games, so he wants to... I was going to say, try and keep within striking distance, but now Leung Jinko is running away with it. Oh, nearly returned it there, accidentally, yeah. Liang. But listen, I'm a huge fan, massive fan of Chinese table tennis. But it is nice to see them challenged, isn't it? Six, and I think they'd, they'd want to have a bit of a challenge, wouldn't they? Well, surely. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, it's the threats that they've faced that have forced them into improvement and innovation. Yeah, that's a, a very good point. Six three. That's better from Campos. Side spin. Oh, that's very, very good. Three, Liang seven. is now showing a bit of creativity with that Chiquita. He's just increasing his racket speed on every shot. Moving better here. Three, I think Campos must be a little bit disappointed that he's come so close to yeah. winning both of the yeah, games. That's That's got to play, I'm sure, in his mind somewhere. And again, you'd have to say, he's got the, the raw tools and maybe the right kind of training, facilities, resources. It could be a very different story for Jorge Campos. Yeah, for sure. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just escaped Jorge Campos. I mean, look at this. Everyone's smiling, the Chinese included here. Exhibition stuff. The side spin hook from Liang. Had virtually no top spin on it. Campos felt it back. 
He's at it again oh. <laughs> with his left hand, but what a great match. And he wraps it up in a much more convincing.